Hey, it's High Carb Rider here. Just thought I'd do a quick video on how to cure a squeaky disc brake. Get a lot of these in the shop. Um, people just basically come in and say it's squeaky, got no power, the brake feels good. Um, but most of the time it's due down, it's down to uh, common contamination of the brake. So a um, bit of like oil on the, on the rotor, a uh, bit of oil on the pads, a uh, bit of shit from the roads. Any, anything can basically cause the, the, the brake to squeal. So, uh, so this is what you need to do to, to fix it. So there we go. Classic squeak. That kind of noise is basically, basically the, the, the pad isn't um, contacting with, with the, the disc itself, the actual rotor. Um, good way to always test it if you rub your fingers on the, on the disc. See that there? That like dirt on my finger. That's basically the, the, cont the contamination that's actually on there. You can feel it's even quite greasy. So, how do you get rid of grease? You degrease, and I'll show you how. Okay, so this is what I'm going to be using today to clean the discs. It's Muckoff's um, disc brake cleaner, in case you can't read. It's basically um, uh, like an isopropyl alcohol kind of stuff. Um, I don't actually know what's in it, but I'm just uh, just guessing. But basically, isopropyl alcohol is like a degreaser. Uh, it evaporates, so you basically spray this on the disc, let it evaporate, and then uh, you can spray a bit on more on and wipe it off with, it, with a cloth. It's pretty dirty and dodgy stuff, um, so just be careful you don't get it in your eyes and your mouth and stuff. Um, and seek medical, medical attention if you do. Okay, so I'm just going to spray this on. So just liberally spray it on, on the disc, like so. I'll do the other side as well, but just for, for camera, camera's sake you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to spray it on there like that, and then leave it, leave it to evaporate. And then I'll do another spray, and then I'll wipe it off with a cloth. So I've just been wiping the disc, and I've got, it's got the cloth so it's that sort of clean. So it's never going to be perfectly clean because it's always going to find dirt somewhere. But when you start wiping it, it'll be like a, a black grey sort of um, like mark left in your cloth. So just keep wiping it until uh, the cloth goes clean like it has done there. Okay. The stage is to take out the pads from the caliper. These ones, basically the pads often soak up the, uh, the moisture. But, um, but you can sometimes save them. So I'm going to try and save them in this case. Hopefully it'll work for camera. Um, so basically take the pads out. It's pretty much the same on all brakes. Uh, every manufacturer has their own kind of way of doing it. But generally there's a pin holding the pads together, so that's the pad there. And that's the little spring, the little divider spring that keeps the pads splayed apart. Uh, on this particular brake, uh, or most of my brakes, you'll have a, a clip that sits on this, this little recess here on the uh, on the pin. In this case it hasn't got one, it's fallen off. And that's basically to stop, the, stop this pin from unscrewing itself, but as you can see it's, it's pretty firm in there. So I'm just going to um, remove this. That takes the pin out and put that somewhere safe. And then uh, just take your, take your pads, your fingers, slide them out. So as you can see here, the pads are kind of like a grey discoloured. Um, what you should be looking for, should be like little gold speckles in there um, if they're clean. So they're not too bad, I've seen worse, a lot worse than this. Uh, often black and um, leave a, a worse mark than that to your fingers. So what I'm going to do is go and clean I'm them. in the kitchen now, not a place you should be when you're uh, working on your bike, but... Um, Lucy's not here, so I can get away with this. <laughs> basically, I've got my dirty pad here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, wash them in ferro liquid. But basically, you put the um, ferro liquid onto the pad, and put the two pads together, rub them together, and rinse it under hot water. And what that does, um, it basically like it does when you wash your pots, it takes the, lifts the grease, takes it off the pad, and uh, should leave it grease free. So uh, I'll show you how it's done. So like I said, get your pads, put a bit of um, washing liquid on there. Like so. Okay, so you've got your pads with the, with the, uh, your ferro liquid on or washing liquid, put them together, like so. And then basically um, I rub them together like this. And what I'm doing when I'm doing this, I'm, I'm kind of, I guess I'm kind of roughing the surface up by using pad to pad, and then um, the grease should start to, get, start to be lifted from the, uh, the degreaser in the washing liquid. So do this for a bit, and you can end up like a um, paste, black paste, and then all we do then is rinse it under hot water, and keep rubbing them together. And if you notice now already, that kind of colour, before it was like a greyish colour, there wasn't anything else to it, but now you can see different colours in there, like little gold and stuff, and those little gold flecks. That's basically the parts of the synth material that's in the pad, um, and obviously that's the bit you want to contact with the disc, and not the greasy bit. So, just keep doing this. Keep rinsing them in the hot water and washing them. Um, keep reapplying soap 
and uh, do that until basically the water starts running clear and then just dry them on a bit of clean, clean paper towel and now uh, you're good to go. Okay, so you've cleaned your pads and you clean your disc. All you need to do now is put everything back together and see if it's worked. 9 out of 10 times um, this does work, um, but in some extreme cases when the pads are saturated that badly or you've got loads of oil actually inside the, the holes of the disc, uh, that can still seep out of the, uh, of the rotor or the pads are so saturated that the oil won't come out. You can use a, um, a blowtorch, like one of these, on the pads just to uh, burn the oil out of it, but it is pretty extreme and I don't recommend you do that um, unless you, you feel, feel comfortable doing so. Um, so yeah, most of the time if, if, it's, if the pads are saturated that bad that the, the ferry liquid or washing liquid that you use can't take the, um, the grease out of the pads, then just, just get rid of them, get some new pads. Um, the chance of your disc will be okay though. So uh, just clean your disc with the, with the ice perfect alcohol, disc brake cleaner, clutch cleaner, anything like that. Uh, even methylated spirits can work. Uh, so just make sure that the pad is in, in disc are clean. Don't put any kind of um, degrees on the pads because they can still stay in there and, and actually lift grease out or get grease in. I don't know how it works, but basically they, they still make the brake squeal. So I've always found that washing liquid is the best for this kind of purpose. Um, so when it's all done, put everything back together in the reverse direction you took it out. So obviously that depends on your brake and so on. Uh, and then just give it a test. So let's uh, see, if, see if my work has, uh, has, has been successful. Okay. Get my camera to stay there. Right. There we go, no squeal. So that's fixed it. Even feels more powerful to the, on the bike. So the actual pad itself is, is adhering because there's no oil there to stop the, um, stop the friction. So um, that's all good. So uh, success. So I hope that's helped you. Um, any problems, comments, criticisms, please put that down below. Please like, share, subscribe. And if there's anything you want me to do or cover, um, please put a note in the comments below and I'll, uh, I'll gladly try and do a video for that. Uh, but thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.